<coughs> what? You don't need heckle or anything. <laughs> comfy? You comfy? <laughs> You know, they say marriage is like a deck of cards. You start with two hearts, and in the end, you have a club and a spade. <laughs> On behalf of my wife and I, We would like to thank you all for coming here today to celebrate our marriage. We are truly grateful that so many friends and family from near and far could be here today. Especially all those who traveled from the Isle of Man, Dubai, <laughs> Charleston. But I am truly amazed of how far some of you will travel for a free bar. <laughs> Some over there. There's so many of you here today that have been a part of my journey from the Isle of Man to Junior College, Ohio State. I think everyone made it through customs. Ah, we lost one. We lost one. We might get them on the way back. Okay. No, honestly, I would just like to say a few words tonight because I'm going to spend the next 50 years listening. <laughs> so, okay, let's be serious here. My wife. Got any tissues there, Frank? No, my wife always looks absolutely beautiful, and tonight she looks more beautiful than ever. I think it's safe to say we have both developed inside and out from the first time we laid eyes on each other in Cincinnati State Fitness Center. <laughs> it's been a unique ride so far, but one I would not change for anything. Your commitment to me and my goals in life have been incredible. You are the most selfless, caring person I have ever met. Wherever football came, no. <laughs> Wherever football took me, you came. <laughs> and supported me throughout. You left your family, your job that you liked behind with me, even when things were not perfect. Kansas City was not perfect. <laughs> and I know I was hard to be around at times. I had one goal in mind, meaning that I would rarely drink. Jesus. Oh. I would be training at all hours, but you loved me for me. You loved me, me when I was fat, now you love me when I was bald. <laughs> Hopefully you love me when I'm fat and bald. <laughs> I can't believe it was over six years ago we were listening to Ed Sheeran in the fitness center. Then me being me in class, I was throwing rubbers at you from the back of the lecture thinking it was funny. What type of rubbers? The small ones. What type? <laughs> All the way from a moment like that to me getting released from DC United and us agreeing to get married one cold February night while we were worrying about my visa situation. <laughs> right? I think it's a credit to Mark and Darlene and the whole family for creating such a special woman. I can't thank you and your family enough for what you have done for me since I moved to the USA. Without you, I'd have been lost. Mark and Darlene have treated me like a son. TJ, Alexis, Bubba, like a brother. But... 
apparently I'm the favourite. <laughs> <laughs> they followed me and supported my dreams along with Brit and have been like second parents to me from having Jack and Alex and Anthony's over a lot for Thanksgiving to driving me and Brittany around the country to move apartments you have been truly amazing the whole family have took me like I never could have imagined <laughs> I felt like I played a, a, my part by being a great addition to the family golf team. <laughs> to my mum and dad, where do I start? You've been unbelievable role models for me throughout my life. <laughs> you have supported me more than any son could ever have imagined believed in my dreams and watched me achieve them. You watched me in front of 27,000 people at Cincinnati, and I think maybe that was some of your dreams too. <laughs> Without you, I would not be here today st uh, marrying this beautiful woman. Turn over. <laughs> your support has always been amazing and you always put me first from encouraging me to stay in the USA when I wanted to quit and then again to watching me play professionally you have always been there mum, everyone knows we have the same personality <laughs> and we've clashed over the years but you, as all, you have always been my rock my chef, my bank <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes still my bank. <laughs> my cleaner, and like me, you love a moan, and like me, you're opinionated, but that's why we are who we are. <laughs> Dad, you wanted me to be a City fan, but I chose Liverpool. <laughs> And I'm still suffering. <laughs> no, seriously, what a role model. Hardworking, passionate, and the calmer head in the family. When the house, house was often turned upside down by me and mum, you were still calm. You have always believed in me more than anyone, and I'm happy I made you both proud. Paul, keep an eye on Debbie over there. She's had too many vodkas. <laughs> Thank you, groomsmen, for standing by my side today. You all look sharp, even though we've had a few sizing issues along the way. <laughs> and if there's any girls in the house tonight, don't worry, Anthony will find you on Tinder. <laughs> Frank and Alex, shh, shh, come on. <laughs> Frank and Alex, my two best men. We have been so close all these years and I could not pick two better men to stand with me today. I have always looked up to you both as role models and leaders. It's not good when you can hear your own voice going. <laughs> you both supported me and were brutally honest when you needed to be. And I think honesty and loyalty are what describe our friendship best. I come to you first to moan about football, worry about football, or just life in general. Don't we know it? <laughs> I'm sure that's going to come. We've been on weekends away, nights out, football tours. We shared Sweden together, which was probably the best football experience I've ever had to this day. And, you know, we all shared that together, a lot of the groomsmen here, which was brilliant. And Frank was truly the brother I never had. One was enough, according to Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> we grew up together in a close family. I would follow his motocross, he would follow my athletics. Yeah, I did used to be quick, and it's hard to believe, but I used to be quick. 
And both our football careers followed similar paths, but a few years apart. From coming on holiday with us to kids when his dad was working on the oil rigs. <laughs> Jonesy, behave yourself. There's a few coppers in here. <laughs> We've had many trips, made many memories, but I'm sure you have many memories. No, sorry. We've had many trips and made many memories, but Frank, I'm not sure you have many memories from the stag do. The best man was in bed for two days. No. To playing football together for St. Mary's, the Isle of Man, Amifa. You're a true leader. You always give 100% in everything you do. You've captained every Isle of Man football team imaginable. You captained the vet yet? That's soon. Next year. <laughs> to running your own successful business at 28, I'm sure you'll make a fantastic father to George. <laughs> However, Frank does have that other side where he likes to clown around, don't you, Frank? Look at Sandra's face. So, in 2012, we all went on my leaving do. We were dressed as sporting heroes. I think Joe Andrews was Balotelli. We had Usain Bolt. I was dressed as a cricketer. Frank was dressed as Mark Cavendish, a famous cyclist. So we got the bus to another town. The drinks were flowing and in between walking from bar to bar, an old lady pulled up on a bicycle outside the shop. <laughs> Frank thought it would be a good idea, dressed as a cyclist, to jump on the bike. <laughs> Frank's pulling wheelies, he's doing this, he's doing that. We're looking at him, Frank's being Frank. Goes down the curb, hits the brake, goes straight over the handlebars, lands on his back. Only to realise the bike was that old, the brakes were the wrong way around. <laughs> they were on opposite sides. <clears throat> That's enough about you. <laughs> Alex, the king of Ohio. The only triple senior in college history. <laughs> to have a roommate. Yanni's over there. They, had, they shared a room when Al was 29. Were you 29? <laughs> Now, Alex, our friendship started in youth football and on the bus home from town at weekends. It wasn't a nice relationship. We'd call each other every name under the sun about our big heads and we'd find it funny. <laughs> Alex has a funny way of everything he has done recently to be the best ever. And I think he's often confused about that. This night out was the best night I've ever had. They were the best wings I've ever had. But there was one TT, we stopped. at Vinnie Dale's burger van. <laughs> and Alex said, that is the best burger I've ever had. And that's when I knew you were fucking lying. <laughs> now, we debate about everything, sports, politic, politics, local Manx, Manx events, and I think sometimes we should be politicians. Your loyalty and honesty has always been second to none. You're a massive help in getting me to Ohio State, which I'll never forget. I'll always be grateful for that, because I, I would not be stood here today without that. I think you're a credit to us as lads. You've developed into a fantastic person, and I'm happy to have you here by my side. Okay, I'm nearly done, I'm nearly done. But talking of Ohio State, there's a little story I want to tell. So, Alex's mum and dad came over one year. <laughs> Me, Alex and Frank were out drinking all day watching the football game. It must have got to about 7 p.m. We went to Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Alex were up first. Alex went in, showed his ID. I went in, showed my